a motorcycle that doubles as a jet ski, the world's first underwater car, and what if the tour bus you were on decided to take a detour straight into a canal? Get ready to be amazed at these seven awesome amphibious vehicles you just have to see. Though it looks like an overgrown Tonka truck, this giant wheeled all-terrain king isn't something you'd let your child play with. This is the Sherp ATV from Russian technologist Alexei Garagashian. With wheels over five feet tall when fully inflated, the Sherp is designed to conquer virtually any terrain, including even the most undeveloped wilderness. With over two feet of ground clearance, Sherp's body easily clears many obstacles. Sherp's massive self-inflating tires allow the vehicle to adjust to different ground features. When necessary, Sherp employs skid steering, in which two wheels on one side are locked with the wheels on the opposite side rolling free. And the Sherp loves the water, too. The buoyancy created by its massive tires is what allows the Sherp to float effortlessly. The large ridges on the tires acting as paddles can propel Sherp through the water at 3.7 miles per hour. While not quite the 28 miles per hour achieved on land, the fact that this enormous vehicle doubles as a watercraft is almost unbelievable. In partially frozen water, Sherp can easily drive right out onto the ice, where this driver just can't resist showing off Sherp's ice skating skills. At around $65,000 for the base model, the Sherp ATV seems like a no-brainer for anyone who wants to go anywhere. Some technologies, even if outdated, never seem to die. A prime example is the U.S. Marine Corps' UHAC, or Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector. Though its method of water propulsion may harken back to the days of the paddle wheel riverboat, that's where the similarity ends. The UHAC is designed to master both water and land. As hard as it is not to imagine anything this massive sinking like a rock, this amphibious mega beast will float just fine. The UHAC's dual tank-like tracks fitted with captured air foam cells will act as buoyant paddles in the water or track-driven pads on land. The planned full-size version will be able to deliver almost 200 tons of equipment from ship to shore, tripling the capacity of the Landing Craft Air Cushion, or LCAC, which is the vehicle in use today. In a 2014 test, a fully functional half-scale version of the UHAC performed flawlessly. Leaving the land-based Marine Corps training area, the UHAC prototype made its way through the ocean to the USS Rushmore, where it entered the ship's amphibious landing dock. It then picked up an assault vehicle and successfully transported it back to the shore. Once the full-scale version is ready for service, the UHAC promises to kick the Marines' amphibious capabilities into overdrive. If you're someone who loves motorcycles and jet skis, you probably wish for a vehicle that combined both. Thanks to Alan Gibbs of Gibbs Amphibians, your wish has finally come true. This is the Bi-Ski Concept Prototype, a truly amphibious single-seat motorcycle that can be ridden right into the water without missing a beat. This futuristic bike is so cool, even aged 007 himself might be tempted to grab a helmet and take a ride. As you gracefully slide into the water, a simple touch of a button converts the bi-ski from motorcycle to jet ski with almost no break in momentum. When the button is engaged, within five seconds, a patented suspension system allows the wheels to be lifted clear of the water, and the bike converts to water jet propulsion. As you accelerate, bi-ski's design dynamics lift up the front for easy handling and a very cool profile. The Bisky's lights are suitable for both road and marine navigation. With a mile per hour rating of 80 on land and 37 in the water, the two-cylinder 55 horsepower engine guarantees that riding the Gibbs Bisky will be a tremendously invigorating experience. Bisky isn't the only amphibious vehicle Gibbs has created. Check out this four-wheeled hair-raising marvel. The Quad Ski, described by Gibbs as the world's first sports amphibian, the Quad Ski offers non-stop excitement. One of the coolest speed demons on the water, it's pretty awesome on land as well, clocking in at speeds of 45 miles per hour in either environment. Like the Bi Ski, the Quad Ski's wheels retract at the push of a button upon entering the water, while the vehicle simultaneously converts to water jet propulsion. 
When approaching land, the same procedure works in reverse. Not to be satisfied with just offering the single seat quad ski, Gibbs also makes a two seat version, the Quad Ski XL. Both versions are powered by a BMW 300cc water cooled four stroke engine and a patented water jet drive that is lighter and more compact than those found on a typical personal watercraft. The hull, available in several great colors, is made from a lightweight but sturdy composite material. So whether you're eating up the trail, slicing through the water, just kicking back, or taking a swim, the Gibbs Quad Ski is definitely a sports enthusiast's dream. For a look at the Bi Ski, the Quad Ski, and Gibbs' other great high-speed amphibians, check out the links below. The 1977 James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me, featured a car that could travel underwater. But it wasn't actually real. In fact, there never was a real underwater car until founder Frank Rinderneck decided to build one. This is the Rinspeed S-Cuba concept vehicle, billed as the world's first diving car. Unveiled at the 2008 Geneva Motor Show, the S-Cuba is the real thing. Derived from a Lotus Elise, the S-Cuba features a push-button autopilot control. While it tops out at only around 75 miles per hour, it's still a stunningly beautiful sports car. Powered by three electric motors, one for land and two for water propulsion, the entire vehicle is ecologically friendly. So passing marine life needn't worry about harmful emissions. The first thing one might ask is how the passengers breathe in a topless underwater car. The car's two occupants breathe through built-in scuba regulators similar to those that any diver would use. Although the S-Cuba's maximum depth is only 10 meters, the topless design allows the occupants to easily escape in an emergency. Rinderneck has been approached by some potential buyers, but he's made it clear that the S-Cuba is a concept prototype only and will not be commercially available. In the meantime, we'll keep his dream alive. Anyone who has ever been to Rotterdam in the Netherlands can tell you what a beautiful city it is, with its beautiful skyline and magnificent architecture from times past and present. If you're lucky enough to be there and you see this, don't panic. This is no accident, folks. It's actually supposed to do this. Though it looks like a regular tour bus, it's actually an amphibious bus from Splash Tours. Now, no one has to choose between a land tour or a cruise, because on this amazing bus, you get the best of both worlds. Splash Tours buses are also fully certified as watercraft. First, you'll tour the city on land, viewing the most exceptional and beautiful places in Rotterdam. Then you'll experience the Splash, a spectacular dive into the Maas River to view Rotterdam's stunning skyline and its many notable landmarks. Before returning home, how about a trip to Amsterdam? Not to be outdone, they've got an amphibious bus too, known as the Floating Dutchman. From the airport, the Dutchman will pick you up for a tour of this timelessly beautiful city, followed by an exciting cruise through Amsterdam's canals. If you find yourself in that part of the world, there may not be a better way to see both of these gorgeously picturesque cities. Other than a few groups of lions and tigers in isolated areas, cats, for the most part, really dislike getting wet. Not so for the final awesome amphibian on our list, the water car panther. This ready-to-rock sensation is without a doubt one of the most exciting amphibious sports vehicles on the planet. With serious speed and horsepower both on land and in the water, it definitely doesn't disappoint. The water car Panther starts life as a Jeep CJ8. At a 300 horsepower Honda Acura 3.7 liter V6 engine, a fiberglass hull, retracting wheels and a powerful jet boat drive, and you got a recipe for one mean machine. From cruising the roads, conquering giant sand dunes, or taking a hunting trip, the Water Car Panther performs as well as any similar style vehicle. Once in the water, whether racing at 45 miles an hour, towing skiers, or on an afternoon of scenic fishing, the possibilities are endless. And speaking of endless possibilities, the Water Car can't guarantee success. Cruising up to a beach party in your own custom-made Panther won't hurt your chances with the ladies either. The Water Car Panther is available as a complete product or a partial DIY kit. We know you want to know more, so check out the link below. Whether you love the water or prefer hanging out on dry land, we hope you enjoyed checking out these amazing amphibious vehicles. Tell us which one you like the most in the comments section below. And don't forget to click the like button. Thanks for watching.